Hey everybody, I'm Nine First Warning, meteorologist Brandon Spinner. We had an active evening on Sunday with two confirmed tornadoes, all from the same complex of showers that was moving through. I say showers because there were no rumbles of thunder or lightning bolts within any of this complex that rolled through. We had kind of a meso vortex develop through northern portions of Brown County out into Highland County, and you can see it made its way to the north and east. But what made them confirm tornadoes uh, on radar? Well, we look at multiple different things on Doppler radar. That's why we don't just look at the reflectivity. We look at different variables and different types of products. One of them is called the velocity. That velocity shows us the direction of the air in the movement in that storm. Green and red coming together tells you that that air is swirling and twisting. That's the first indication, but we look at all their uh, other different products as well to kind of give us a better look in that storm. Another one is called shear rate, and when we start to see the shear popping up, especially with strong shear, that's another indication from the system uh, that there's storms starting to show the, the, the indication that there's rotation and also the characteristics of a potential tornadic super supercell usually. As far as what we saw here, we also look at one other thing. This is called correlation coefficient. It's basically separating debris in the atmosphere from raindrops and hailstones. We can see a big bullseye, and that's usually a sign that a tornado has been confirmed uh, on Doppler radar, and that is why the National Weather Service put out that confirmed warning. The second one happened just up the road north of Allensburg. Again, we've got that couplet, that rotation on velocity, and a better indication of some stronger shear, and also another indication that there was debris getting thrown up in the atmosphere, all in the same area, and when they all line up in the same spot, that's an indication that a tornado has indeed developed, and it's why we did have two confirmed tornadoes. Now, what the ratings are, still early to tell on that. The National Weather Service will definitely get out there and do some storm surveys, surveys and damage surveys throughout the day on Monday and likely Tuesday. So keep checking back for the very latest on that. Thanks for watching. I hope you stayed safe on Sunday and enjoyed some of that rain.